Armstrong joins us uh, from there now. Fond memories of Neil Armstrong's uh, visit there, Fiona. Certainly there are very fond memories. Yes, this is Langham, a small and very beautiful town nestling in the southern Scottish hills. And this is a place that today is remembering. It's remembering a space legend. It's remembering a man who came here 40 years ago to be honoured for his achievement. Now, you're asking me, why on earth did he come to Langham, of all places? Well, Langham is the heart of Clan Armstrong country. Neil Armstrong was coming back to his roots. His ancestors came from this part of the world. Now, Langham is known as the Muckle Toon, and Muckle means big, and the people here certainly gave him an enormous welcome when he arrived to receive the freedom of the town, and he got it in that small church just beyond the bridge there. The most difficult place to be recognized is in one, one's own hometown. And I consider this now my hometown. Neil Armstrong did consider it his hometown. He did keep in touch with the people of Langham. Thousands turned out on that great day to welcome them. And among them, Dennis Mayle, local councillor, but then you were a youth worker and you met the great man. Yes, I was fortunate enough to be one of the people at the reception that met the great man and was very, very surprised just how gentle he was. And the thought that this man had walked on the moon was something you really couldn't believe. But he was a wonderful, wonderful man. His, his whole family were wonderful. And I think the town thoroughly enjoyed it. There's never been anything quite like it, apart from our annual common riding for numbers of people turning out and the excitement of he, that great day. He arrived with his wife and, as you said, you know, a most mm. unassuming man, considering he was a superstar at that stage. Well, I think he, he took the whole town by surprise, just how friendly he was, how gentle he was, and his whole demeanour. And uh, say the town and everybody that came to visit from hundreds of miles around had all the same feeling that this was a really, really wonderful man and was, was, was so gentle. And the world and his wife seemed to converge on this sleepy Scottish town. You had, you had people from all over the Scottish borders, didn't you? Well, I think we'd people internationally here with them from, from Carlisle. We had them from every border town. We had the provost there all at the function. It really was a wonderful, wonderful occasion, a worldwide occasion for, for a, a world-famous figure. And, of course, his death has been noted in the Scottish Parliament and the fact that he had this connection with Langham. And here in Dumfries and Galloway, you're planning your own special tribute to him later in the year. Well, I've asked the council if we could put on a memorial service because I do not believe we can let our freemen and the worldwide famous figure like Neil Armstrong pass without the town recognising them properly. So it is the hope that in early November we will have a very special service to commemorate him. And Neil Armstrong, of course, you're only freeman. Yes. Um, Lenny Bell, now you were in the pipe band at the time. Yes. Uh, you were the drumming then. Yes. Uh, you've been in the pipe band nearly 60 years, That's so congratulations great, yeah, yeah. for that. Yeah. What was it like when you led, his, led the procession? Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. It was a March day absolutely freezing. Could hardly hold their drumsticks. Everybody was absolutely starving. But um, so we led the pony and trap with the two halberdiers from uh, High, down the High Street, where the silver band was struck up with uh, the stars and stripes, much to my amusement, but they played absolutely brilliantly like. Well, Lenny, we'll let you play out on this day that he's being buried. Give us just a few beats on the drum for Neil Armstrong. Thank you. You know, I've never been able to do that. Have you? I've never think, tried it, is it? It's just <laughs> fantastic. You sound surprised that you can't do it. <laughs> After 60 years, I'm not surprised, actually. <laughs> there, that's the way to leave Langham. Uh, with, in memory of Neil Armstrong, let's get over to the weather. Sarah Keith.